in this lecture we will learn different recurrence formula uh, for the bessel function so uh, these are the different uh, types of recurrence formula but uh, for this particular lecture we will discuss about first uh, four formula so let us uh, check that what is the first formula the first formula is x j n prime is equal to n into j n minus x into j n plus 1 so how to uh, derive this relation we know that uh, the expression of the bessel function j n is equal to r equal to 0 to infinite minus 1 to the power r divided by r factorial gamma n plus r plus 1 x by 2 to the power n plus 2 over this is the expression for the bessel function now if we differentiate j n with respect to x so we will get uh, in the right hand side there is a function of x that is x by 2 to the power n plus 2 over so it will become x by 2 n plus 2 over minus 1 into half after differentiating now we are multiplying with x in both side so left side will be x into j n prime and we have to apply a particular tricks here you see that in the uh, numerator there is n plus 2 r so we will separate the uh, uh, summation form in two terms so first term will be for uh, considering only n so n into something so this is the first term we have uh, kept n outside of the summation term so this is the first term and another term will be for 2r into the rest of the thing so first term is n into rest of the thing and the second term is 2r into rest of the thing this is 2r you, you see uh, in the new monitor so we have actually uh, separated uh, into two terms here how by separating n plus 2r so in this way we have obtained uh, first term and second term in the second term you see that we have kept uh, x outside of the summation term and this summation is for uh, r is equal to 0 to r is equal to infinity now you see that uh, this uh, first term this is the expression for the gn so uh, the first term we can write as n into j n and second term you see that um, in the numerator there is uh, 2r and this is 2r factorial so 2 2 cancels out so this is r and this is r factorial so we can write r minus 1 factorial and uh, this is gamma n plus r plus 1 and x by 2 to the power n plus 2 r minus 1 now what we can do that uh, we are putting r minus 1 is equal to s so in place of r minus 1 we are writing as s so we have modified this term also this is n plus r plus 1 so we will write as n plus s plus 2 and as r minus 1 is equal to s so uh, limit of r is equal to uh, 0 to infinity so limit of s uh, will be also uh, 0 to infinity now uh, if we uh, look at this term so this is uh, uh, minus 1 to the power s plus 1 so we have taken 1 minus uh, outside of the summation that is why we have written as minus x so we have written in the numerator minus 1 to the power s by s factorial and n plus s plus 2 we are writing in this fashion that is uh, n plus 1 plus s plus 1 and this one as uh, n plus 2s plus 1 we are writing as uh, n plus 1 plus 2s so uh, if we look carefully that this uh, summation is the expression of j n plus 1 so, because if j n is this one so what will be j n plus 1 we have to write n plus 1 in place of n so if we write n plus 1 in in place of n then this will become like this uh, only change is that there is r and there is s but uh, nothing more than that so this is actually uh, j n plus 1 so x into j n prime that is equal to n into j n minus x into j n plus 1 so this has been proved now we will show the second formula x j n prime is equal to minus n j n plus x j n minus 1 again at first we will write the expression for uh, j n this is the expression for the j n now we are differentiating uh, with respect to x 
so we get uh, j n prime uh, is equal to this one that is x by 2 to the power n plus 2 r minus 1 into half this is j n prime now uh, we are writing as x into j n prime so we are multiplying uh, x both side so uh, this is after multiplication uh, x into j n prime is equal to this one this was actually uh, x by 2 to the power n plus 2 or minus 1 but as we have multiplied x so there will be x by 2 to the power n plus 2 r now we have to apply uh, some tricks so how to what is the tricks actually you see that in the numerator there is n plus 2 r so we are writing n plus 2 r in this fashion that is 2 n plus 2 r minus n so this is same as n plus 2 r uh, now we will separate the terms uh, in uh, two different terms so this is the summation now we are separating the first will be for 2n plus 2r 2n plus 2r into rest of the term and the second term will be that is uh, minus n here so minus n into rest of the term so this is the first term and this is the second term so this uh, two terms has been obtained by separating uh, this is the first term and this is the second term in this way now if we look carefully uh, the uh, first term and uh, this can be simplified a little bit because you see we know the formula that is uh, gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n now in the numerator if we take two common so it will be n plus r and in the uh, denominator there is n plus r plus 1 so we can write uh, gamma n plus r and uh, this is r factorial minus 1 to the power r here uh, 2 is there and x by 2 to the power n plus 2 r and the this term that is uh, the second term if we look carefully that this summation is actually the expression for uh, j n so this is minus n into j n now uh, we are writing this term uh, after uh, rearrangement so how to rearrange we are writing uh, x we have taken here that is um, uh, outside the summation and here x by 2 to the power n plus 2 r but we are writing in this way that is x by 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 2 r as we have written minus 1 so we have adjusted x uh, outside the summation so this is the adjustment and another adjustment is this that is uh, gamma n plus r gamma n plus r we have written in this way that is n minus 1 plus r plus 1 so this is actually uh, this will become the expression for j n minus 1 how to check you see the expression for j n in the expression for j n uh, if we put n minus 1 then this expression will become exactly similar to uh, this expression so uh, this is the expression for j n minus 1 so x into j n minus 1 minus n into j n so x into j n prime is equal to x into j n minus 1 minus n j n and formula 3 and 4 that is uh, these formulas will come uh, from this formula actually these two formulas so after just adding and subtraction we can uh, prove those formula for example suppose uh, 2jn prime is equal to jn minus 1 minus jn plus 1 how to show that this is the first formula this is the second formula you just add those so after adding we can get 2jn prime is equal to jn minus 1 minus jn plus 1 and the fourth formula 2n jn is equal to x into jn minus 1 plus jn plus 1 we can uh, prove in this way this is the first formula this is the second formula so subtracting 2 from 1 uh, we can show the fourth formula 2n j n is equal to x into j n minus 1 plus j n plus 1 uh, so these uh, are the all four formula and now we can uh, show uh, some examples where this formula uh, can be used for example suppose we have to show uh, j 5 by 2 x is equal to this one so how to uh, show that so we will use the recurrence relation 4 that is uh, formula 4 formula 4 is this one that is 2n jn is equal to x into jn minus 1 plus jn plus 1 so jn plus 1 can be written as in this fashion that is uh, j in terms of jnx and jn minus 1x so if we put n is equal to um, 
half here so we can obtain that is uh, j3 by 2x that is uh, 1 by x j half x minus j minus half x and uh, if we put uh, n is equal to 3 by 2 in 1 then we will obtain that is j by j 5 by 2x is equal to uh, 3 by 2 j 3 by 2x minus j half x so what we have shown here that is j 3 by 2x can be expressed uh, in terms of j half x and j minus half x and j 5 by 2 x can be expressed in terms of j 3 by 2x minus uh, j half x now you see that uh, just um, in equation 2 we have expressed j 3 by 2 x uh, in terms of j half x and j minus half x so we can substitute this value in equation 3 so ultimately j 5 by 2 x can be expressed in terms of j half x and j minus half x now we know the value of j half x and j minus half x in the previous lecture uh, we have already deduced the expression for j half x and uh, j minus half x we have just used uh, those result uh, in equation 4 so if we substitute those values of j half x and j minus half x then we will obtain the value of j 5 by 2 x another example can be shown again we, we will use uh, formula 4 that is very uh, useful formula actually uh, from that formula uh, higher order j term can be expressed in terms of lower orders for example uh, here that is uh, we have expressed j 5 by x in terms of j half x and j minus half x similarly uh, here the problem is that the, they have asked uh, to express j 6 x in terms of j 0 x and j 1 x we can show in this way that is at first we will write formula 4 then uh, we will put n is equal to 5 here then j 6 will become uh, j6 can be written uh, using j5 and j4 so this is uh, the expression now if we put n is equal to 4 in this expression then we can express j5 in uh, terms of j4 and j3 now if we put uh, n is equal to uh, 3 here then again j4 can be uh, expressed uh, in terms of j3 and j2 and similarly that is j3 can be expressed in terms of j2 and j1 so in this way uh, you uh, consecutively uh, you can express jx in terms of lower order terms here they have uh, asked to uh, express jx in terms of j0 and j1 so you have to step by step uh, reduce the expression of jx so here step by step they have done that for example they have started from n is equal to 5 then n is equal to 4 here then they have uh, used um, n is equal to uh, 3 then uh, they have used n is equal to 2 and j3 has been expressed in terms of j2 and j1 here in this st uh, step uh, j2 has been expressed in terms of j1 and j0 uh, and ultimately that is j6 can be expressed in terms of j1 and j0 this uh, that is calculation will be little bit longer but uh, we can reduce j6 in terms of j0 and j1 another example is this suppose they have told that uh, express j5 in terms of j1 and j2 um, exactly the similar uh, process that is you have to use recurrence relation 4 and step by step you have to put n is equal to 4 then is n is equal to 3 and then n is equal to 2 and so on so these are the uh, application of those uh, recurrence relation so thank you all for listening the lecture